Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And since the Zima board has this huge PCIe X4 exposed, why not slap a graphic card on here and check it out? So let's get started. Now, if you want to be able to experiment with your own Zima board, I have partnered up with Icewell to do a giveaway. Now, the giveaway will be held on my Discord. I have explained this in my previous videos before, where by doing this, the giveaway on Discord, you guys have a higher chance of winning the board or winning the giveaway itself. Due to the fact that anytime that I host a giveaway, you know, either through comments or through subscriptions, it ends up to be a lot of bots. And I think the best way to eliminate the bots is to host this on Discord. Now, minimum requirements to enter this giveaway is to have level five on my Discord. Now, me and my mods calculated it's about 80 or so messages. So come join my Discord, start a conversation with the community, enjoy, have fun, and in no time you'll be able to enter the raffle for this giveaway. Now, it's gonna be for two weeks starting today, which means on May 6th, that's when the winner will be announced. And again, it will be announced on my Discord. So yeah, come check it out. Now to get back on point of the video, which is the graphic card on the Zima board, I've checked out a couple of graphic cards on this guy. First, the internal one is Intel HD 500, which is not very powerful. Then I have a 1030 right over here that I've tested as well. And then I've tried to test out this 750 Ti but unfortunately, because this draws too much power through the port and this doesn't have an external power connector on this guy, this will not power on. I mean, I'm able to get to the desktop, but anytime when I try to use it for a game or something, it would just crash and not work. But external power does work. So I was able to test this graphic, which is the 1070, and I was able to put it on here and play some games with that. So to start off, we have a baseline. I started it off with a very light game and the first game is Art of Rally. Now using the Intel HD 500, I barely got any frames with it. It runs, but it's very slow and you can see that the GPU is pinned to the max. So here's a footage of it. Now, next thing I tried was the 1030. Now the 1030 is not a great gaming card. It's actually a really good desktop graphic card, but gaming is not there. Now for this one, it does a lot better in the graphic department. I mean, I was able to get a lot better frames, but still it was pinned to 100%. Wasn't able to play the game super smooth. So here's a footage of that. Now, last but not least, I tested out the 1070 onto this guy with external power, and it, it's just completely different. The gameplay is actually smooth. The GPU is barely using any percentage, and yeah, it's actually really good with an external graphic card. So here's the footage of that.
So knowing that you can actually slap on a graphic card, which why wouldn't it? Because it's a Nix 86 device. Um, where is the limitation? And here is where I could show you a game that I've been actually really interested in recently is X4. So I slapped the 1070 onto the Zima board and tried to load up X4. Now, as soon as I got into the game, you would notice even with the powerful graphic card, this game runs only like 10 frames per second. And the GPU is only using about 5% of usage, but the CPU is pinned to the top. The CPU just cannot keep up with this game to process the information to the GPU. And thus being that this is where the limitation is. So it's not always just slapping a graphic card onto a little card like this and hope it works for every game. It's sometimes the CPU that is bottlenecking everything else. And this instance, definitely. So here's a footage of that. Anyway, that is it for me guys. I really enjoyed playing with this board. I still have a lot of projects that I'm going to be touching because the two ports in the back really deserves uh, some sort of router or some sort of build on this. So I really want to play around with it, especially if you do the two router ports with the SATA in the back. There's, there's tons of things you could do with this, but yeah, playing with the graphic card was one of my first ideas. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, leave it down in the comments below or join my Discord and ask questions over there as well. And if you guys have any other ideas that I could do with this board, let me know down in the comments below as well. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.